For many Fortnite players, Tifu is the epitome of confidence. But when it comes to playing the game at an absolute high level, players stop at two critical crossroads. The first and foremost, obvious, is mechanics. You know how fast you can pop an edit, retake the high ground, or hit 200 pumps. All right, so that's great and all, but that's not entirely difficult to get over if you're already competing. Now, what really divides the general player base from Tifu is the clutch factor. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about making moves when they matter. When there's millions of dollars on the line or hundreds of thousands of viewers critiquing your every move. For Tifu, that's just Tuesday. Going all the way back to Friday Fortnite with Cloaksy last year, up until today, where Tifu was absolutely crushing the Fortnite Championship Series, the guy is literally Fortnite's Superman. That's why today we're going to be breaking down Tifu down piece by piece, even the smallest details that you probably overlooked, and learn how to never choke again. What's going on, guys? It's the Motivation Guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm here to tell you, I used to choke under pressure all the time. All the time. If there was any money on the line, or if, if there was a trophy involved, or people were depending on me, in those crucial moments, I used to, like, fold all the time. And then I just started to learn how to have fun. Yeah, that's right, have fun. You have to learn how to have fun in those pressure situations, whether in this game or also in any area of your life. And that's going to help you just not give in to the pressure. And you're going to learn how to take advantage and come out victorious, all right? Make sure to follow me on my Instagram. I believe in you guys. This is your year to be great. You are great, know that. If you guys are tired of getting outplayed and looking to sharpen your Fortnite skills, we got you covered. ProGuys.com is the number one way to improve your skills. We offer on-demand coaching with some of the best players in the world if you sign up for our membership to get access to exclusive content from players like Benji and Mongrel and Soon Booga. Yeah, that's right. Click the link in the description to visit ProGuys.com to start your journey to greatness. With that being said, sit back, relax, and get my favorite candy, that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going. All right, so first things first. Tifu is always in the zone, but his zone is quite different than what we might expect. You might think that being in the zone is just like ultra focused, you know, tunnel visioning yourself to whatever, right? But that's not simply the case for Tifu. The way he composes himself whenever dropping into a Fortnite game is pretty consistent. Whether he's in the final game of a big tournament or simply dominating pubs, his stance and voice doesn't really change. All right, so just take a look at the FNCS finals and focus on how he's positioned and speaks when playing. There are the 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 okay, pay attention to the next zone. I mean, this guy's like almost slouched back in his chair, chilling, you know what I mean? No, okay. But he does have a pretty comfortable stance. And it's not like Tifu's screaming when he talks to his teammates. I swear I see so many players leaning way into screaming into the mic and basically crumbling under pressure. If you want to play your best, guys, it has to be natural. And nobody, nobody, plays better when they're just fidgety or changing things up. Our guy Tifu, no stakes are too high for him, okay? Even when things don't exactly go his way, he holds his emotions back more than you and I could ever imagine. Finding a clip of Tifu like going full out raging is a very hard task to do. The most I was able to find was him getting irritated or just generally annoyed about how a bad play unfolded. I whiffed such an easy shot, bro. I'm not saying that he's completely devoid of emotions, all right? He's human, I get it. But it's pretty obvious that there's a general disconnect between what happens in-game and his real underlying emotions. What happens on the battlefield stays on the battlefield. It's a mindset that is very hard to nail down, but Tifu, he was able to do it. And it really pays hefty dividends for this guy. This dude's made so much bread from tournaments, my goodness. But that barely scratches the surface when it comes to what Tifu makes. The real money comes from streaming and content creation, where he averages over 50,000 viewers at any given time. That's a lot of money. The only downside to all of his fame is like, you know, all the pressure that comes with it. The fact that his performance directly influences how much money he makes, man, that's a huge burden. Think about this, guys. Imagine that you got a job, right? And your boss said that if you didn't win the next Fortnite game you played, then your paycheck will go down by $100. All right, your palms will be like sweating in the final five. But that leads me directly to my next point, trust, okay? Trust in any situation. Tifu doesn't need to double check or hesitate with whatever he's doing, whether it be communicating with his teammates, his mechanical abilities, anything that puts him closer to winning the game. Tifu sticks to his guns, that's what we all gotta do. 
All right, so check this example. Tifu never repeats or yells at his teammates, regardless of how hectic the scenario is. Hold back. Stay up, no then. Stay up. No one's taking it. Dennis. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. If it ever comes Try to build up people, south, I, I think. In a situation where it's so easy to get carried away and just scream over your teammates, Tifu delivers his message with consistency. He leans on his teammates and that they will understand and receive what he's saying the first time. He knows that repeating himself really does no good and even can be negative at times. This core concept is something that we can all learn a thing or two from. All right, so as I said earlier, this doesn't just apply to playing with teammates. Even looking at the smallest micro decisions, making your own moves without hesitation is key, guys. Not thinking about the what ifs and always going for the play that's going to leave you with less regrets in the future. So this clip we're watching right now summarizes what I'm trying to say pretty well. Tifu goes for a standard wall replace here, all right, but he ends up not converting on the kill. Zero frustration. Tifu made the right move here, but it was just one of those scenarios where it didn't pan out. He goes back to the drawing board and comes up with a new play to outplay his opponent. Using the RPG phasing mechanic, he gets into his opponent's box, wasting no time at all. Tifu instantly goes from using one mechanic to another, and the latter ends up securing the kill. He stuck to his guns, even when it didn't work out the first time. And you know, a lot of the time, guys, it's our hesitation that really gets us killed. You know, you don't want to be the guy that choked because you decided not to go for the obvious move. Tifu is a shining example of this concept, which relies on trusting yourself. Now, polishing your micro decision making is great, but we also have to keep in mind the big picture. Sometimes, you know, like I just said earlier, things are just out of your control. You might play amazing one day and end up bombing another. Tifu is no exception to that rule. So, back at the World Cup, after qualifying for the solo event in the third week, he had his worst solo performance ever. Tifu said to himself he didn't want to change up his playstyle in any way, but that day wasn't his day. The result was an unimpressive 67th place finish. Still good for $50,000 though, <laughs> can I borrow some money? But completely missed the mark of what everyone was expecting to see from Turner. Instead of whining like most of us would have did, or giving excuses like many of us, Tifu simply said GG and he moved on. Since then, Tifu has been absolutely killing it when it comes to the Fortnite Championship Series. He got his bearings straight, teamed up with his friends Cloaksy in 72 hours, and returned to perfect form. After winning one of the qualifier weeks, Turner and company made a run all the way to the finals. And the squad's iteration of FNCS is no different. After Tifu and Cloaksy picked up Kanata and Fiber, they won the very first squad's tournament. Things were really looking up again, due to Tifu's sheer willpower to not allow one loss to get to his head. Hold on, you guys win game. Another one, side him out, Kanata, side him out right now. Challenge the little Nice. 3v1, 3v1, play together. This kid's dog shit. You guys are so good. Let's go. Come on, let's go, baby. So, many people called Tifu washed and overrated after the World Cup Finals. But boy, were they wrong. The thing is that, what if Tifu had listened to the haters and other doubtful voices? There's a very good chance that if he did, he would have never returned to his full potential. Sure, you know, there was one bad performance, he's human, but sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles. A person way smarter than me once said, there is no better than adversity. Every defeat, every heartbreak, every loss contains its own seed, its own lesson on how to improve your performance the next time. That man was Malcolm X in the midst of high tensions with civil liberties. I feel like I should be making some sort of grandiose statement right now, feeling a little pressure, trying Malcolm X to Tifu. But guys, it's really not that deep. Whatever you do in life, putting the time in and sticking to your guns to get you where you need to be is what needs to happen. Fortnite just happens to be one of those things which needs that kind of dedication and concentrated willpower to always make the right decisions. And you know what? You can do it. Don't ever say you can't. Take that word out of your vocabulary and replace it with I can. To never choke under pressure, you know, to meet expectations regardless of the cost. But just like Tifu, we're all human. And humans, us as humans, all right, we all have flaws. Regardless of how good you are or if you end up falling flat on your butt once in a while, because it happens to the best of us. And you know what? I fall flat on my face almost every day. And if you can't get right back up, I'm so sorry, guys, but this is going to be an entire difficult journey for you. So to conclude, let's review the key points that we went over today. All right, so first off, if you want to find your zone, not only that, but that zone needs to be consistent whether you're in a pub match or fighting for a million dollars. Switching it up when the real high stakes are involved is never going to be a good thing. Next, you have to always be trusting. Trust that you have the right play up your sleeve. Trust that your teammates are going to make the right plays as well. Thinking over things and just hesitating is a surefire way to mess up, all right? You know what you're doing, so just do it. 
Finally, my friend, show resilience during hard times. Tifu showed us just that, and he not only got up from his shortcomings, but he also thrived past it. People might hate on you. It's gonna happen. It happens to me all the time. They may not think you're good enough, but you know what? You are. You just have to believe me and not them. All right, guys, once again, it's the Motivation Guy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, man, I really, really do believe in you guys. You guys are going to be great, all right? Not only in this game, but also in life. So keep going, keep grinding, never give up. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram. I would love to hear from you guys. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. But before I head out, I got one more question to ask you guys. Do you think that Tifu Squad will win the upcoming Fortnite Championship Series? Hmm. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. If you don't think it's Tifu taking a crown, okay, well, who will? Let me know everything else in those comments. So we really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to visit ProGuys.com. Comment down below what you thought about the video and what you like to see next. Make sure to put in code ProGuys in the description. We aim to bring you guys daily quality content. So do us a favor by liking this video, subscribe to the channel, and show ProGuys.com some love for bringing you this video. We'll see you next time.